Welcome to City Year. My name is Rachel Halpin. And I'm Kyle Mahoney. And we are both proud core members serving with City Year Chicago. You are watching a live, interactive call-in television show brought to you by CanTV21. During the next 25 minutes, we invite you to call in with any questions you might have. The number is 312-738-1060. Um, and for those of you who aren't familiar with us, uh, City Year is a nonprofit organization that unites young people um, between the ages of 17 and 24 from all different backgrounds for a year of full-time service. Um, City Year's vision is that one day the most commonly asked question um, of a, somebody who's about to graduate high school is where will you do your service here? Here in Chicago, core members such as Kyle and myself serve as literacy tutors and role models for students in Chicago public schools. Mm -hmm. And we also engage community members in physical service projects such as mural painting and fence building uh, to do projects that transform neighborhoods throughout the city. During their 10 months of service, City Year Corps members will perform over 1,700 hours of service and also earn nearly $5,000 in an education award. That's a lot of money. For more information about City Year, the service we provide Chicago, and information on how to get involved, please vid visit us on the web at www.cityyear.org slash Chicago. There are a lot of different ways for you to get involved, whether you're interested in serving with us for a day or joining the Corps for a whole year. All of the information you need can be found at our website. Again, my name is Rachel and we are City Year Chicago. This week we're going to do something a little bit different. Normally Kyle would be taking over the phones right now, but we are lucky enough to have a special guest coming on in a few minutes uh, and they're going to be joining us by phone, so Kyle's going to stay on air with me. Yep, um, and this is actually the first ever phone-in guest that we've had on our City Year TV show, um, so we're pretty excited about that. Um, and our guest tonight will be Charlie Rose. Um, who is the Dean of City Year, um, and we'll let him explain to you exactly what that means. City Year Chicago, while here in Chicago we put on this show, there are actually 19 different sites throughout the nation, okay. and each of these sites gets its leadership and its direction from headquarters in Boston. Yeah, um, and Boston is sort of like City Year's flagship site. Um, it was founded 21 years ago by Michael Brown and Alan Casey, and um, today our office in Boston houses two different divisions of City Year, um, and this is where Charlie Rose works. So we will be waiting for him to call in just a few minutes. Uh, hopefully phone lines or anything like that aren't down. The right. East Coast is getting slammed with a lot of snow right now, so right. hopefully he'll be able to, to call us. Until then, uh, Kyle and I thought it'd be a good idea to talk a little bit about a day in the life of a City Year Corps member. We talk a lot about what City Year as an organization does and all of that, so we thought maybe we'd get more into the nitty gritty of what it's like on a daily basis for, for a Corps member. Yeah, um, so I, I guess I can start off. Um, Rachel works very closely with our school teams, mm -hmm. um, and I myself work very closely with our office-based teams. So I thought it might be a good idea to separate that and give you a picture of what it looks like to work in a school and then what it looks like to work in the office. Um, so to work in the office, um, it's kind of what you would expect from an office job. You're going to be doing a lot um, of sort of organizing of data. You're going to be using computers. Um, but the office teams kind of have a lot of cool responsibility um, and a lot of cool opportunities for service that a lot of the school teams don't get. Um, for instance, we get to travel around the city much more often because we do things like going on site visits, um, which is what we call it when we go to meet a new service partner um, to discuss uh, you know, maybe a community service event that we're going to be hosting. Um, so we get to do a lot of things like that. Um, a typical day for an office core member is a little less structured than it would be for a school team member. Um, just simply because of the, the work that we do, um, building relationships, you know, throughout the city of Chicago, um, we have to schedule meetings and those meetings have to be in line with our service partners, um, what they're available. So it's hard for us to say that every day at 9 a.m. we're going to be doing a certain thing um, because that's just not really how our job works. We get to um, do a lot of cool interaction and that obviously requires a very flexible schedule. Um, but the school teams I know are quite a bit different. They are um, and like you said because of the fact that we work in schools we do have to kind of work alongside the same schedule as the schools do. Um, so it is much more structured 
And I know from experience, last year I worked at a school on the west side of Chicago, uh, Spencer Technology Academy. And the day for a core member at a school, you arrive at the same time every day as you would at the office, um, normally before school starts. And one of the first things that we do is what we call morning greeting. Basically, we like to make sure that we are there as soon as the kids are arriving to school. We're outside on the playground with them, hanging out, making sure they're coming to school and they've got their homework or anything that is going on. So they're the first faces we see in the morning. We get them into the school building and kind of ready for class. And then each core member has uh, X number of students that they work with on a individual basis. This year we focus a lot on literacy tutoring, so core members work with normally about six students, first, second, or third graders, and they tutor them f on a one-on-one -on -one basis for about 30 minutes, four days a week. So that runs from about 9 a.m. till 2 p.m. Schedules vary a little bit depending on different classes. Um, and the different activities that the students are doing in their class. We try not to pull them out of classes such as art and gym because they rarely get to do that on a regular basis. So we try not to pull them out of there to come do city year with us. Um, and then at 2.30, we start our after school program, which we call Starfish Corps. And that runs from about 2.30 to 5 o'clock or 5.30. Yeah. Um, actually, it looks like Charlie Rose has phoned in. And so with no further ado, we would like to welcome Charlie Rose to the show. Welcome, Charlie. How are you? I'm well. Thank you so much for having me. No problem. Charlie, um, before we get started, I would like to say, I know you can't see the screen, but right now we have a picture of you and Wyclef Jean up on the screen. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so do you mind telling us a little bit about that picture? Uh, no, not at all. So Wyclef came to visit uh, Timberland because he does work with the Timberland Company, and we were invited to do a roundtable with him to share city year and to learn from Wycliffe about his work in Haiti. This was uh, over a year ago, and uh, it was a remarkable time where we got to meet Wycliffe. And then towards the end of the, uh, the session where every all the core members told their stories and then Wycliffe told his personal story, which was remarkable, um, at the end of the thing he says, um, uh, and I really like your red jacket, so I just I just instinctively pulled off my red jacket and handed it to him, and uh, he turned around, took off his jacket, and, and gave it to me. So that's why we have the opposite jackets there. So it was it was amazing, and you know he's recently been been doing a lot of work back in Haiti since the earthquake. Yeah, that's really cool. That's really cool. Um, so Charlie, how long have you been with City Year? I've been with City Year for 21 years. I've been 19 years on staff, and two years before that, I was on the board of trustees, the founding board. So I'm sort of a City Year lifer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, throughout the 19 or I guess 21 total years, Charlie, what uh, accomplishment? I know you've had many, but is there one that you're most proud of? You know, I, I don't think I've had any individual accomplishments. I think we as an organization have accomplished a lot. In terms of, I guess I think the thing I'm proudest is to be connected with the uh, nearly 12,000 alumni who are doing incredible things all over the country and all over the world. I would also say that just growing City Year from a small core of 50 uh, young people in Boston to now a um, nationwide organization in 20 U.S. cities and now opening our third uh in our third continent in London. Uh, this week I've been spending the week with the London startup team here in Boston. Very cool, very cool. Yeah, um, so Charlie, we mentioned that you are the Dean of City Year. Can you tell us a little bit about what it is that you do as the Dean of City Year? Yeah, there's a couple things. The Dean, and people ask me that question a lot because it's a funny title in a non-academic setting, but I often say it's sort of like a Dean of Students at a college. So what I do is I stay connected to the core members. So I travel around the country, and I try to do whatever uh, whatever we expect the core to do. I try to do that. So I I wear the uniform every day. I go to service sites. I'm in schools. I get around to every site. So in the last month, I've been to your site in Chicago. I've been to Cleveland, Columbus, San Antonio. Boston, New Hampshire, Rhode Island, and Los Angeles, and next week I'll go to San Jose. So a lot of frequent flyer miles. But it's, it's, it's a way for the senior management of the organization to stay connected to the core experience. That, that is what I would say is the heart of it. Awesome. That's great. Yeah, definitely lots of traveling for you. Hopefully not much during the snowstorm, though. 
No, it's it's crazy. I, I guess you guys are having a lot of snow right now. Yeah, not quite as much as uh, Boston, but we are getting some. Mm-hmm. Charlie, a, a year of full-time service is extremely challenging, and what are some things that City Year does to support volunteers through the trials of their service? You know, it's a good question because I think that it's really important that we provide support, and I, I would actually say we need to provide even more support given the kind of circumstances we're putting people into. But um, I think it's I think you get a lot of support from your team, and we try to provide support for the team leaders and the program managers, and that's, and that's critical. Um, I think we need to get more deliberate and intentional about what I call morale, uh, welfare, and recreation, so sort of fun days, like what you guys did at Dave & Buster's, th- things where people are actually building community and having fun in addition to all the hard work. Um, mm. The other thing I think we try to do is provide time for reflection um, because I think that's important to really reflect on your work. Um, I would like to see us raise the compensation for city year and have a higher level of compensation, which I think would go a long way. Yeah, definitely. Um, so, Charlie, over the years, you've had the chance to help a lot of youth develop their skills um, and grow into into great servants of this country. Um, in that time, though, do you think that you have taught more than you have learned, or do you think it's vice versa? I think it's vice versa. I think I've learned more than I've taught. I think that um, I, I still have a lot to learn, but I feel like I try to learn something every day. I hope that I've been able to provide perspective for people. I think, you know, one thing about being around a really long time is you have some perspective. So I hope I've been able to share that. Um, And the other thing is trying to provide motivation and inspiration for people through both example and, you know, keeping our eye on the prize, which is, you know, ultimately it's really not about us. Um, So I I, I would, you know, the the, the short answer to your question is that I've, I've learned a lot more than I've taught. Awesome. Thank you very much, Charlie. Charlie, we actually are running out of time, but thank you so much for taking the time to call in and join us today. We really appreciate everything that you do here at City Year with us. Thank you so much. I appreciate being on. I love your show, and uh, I am honored to have been a a guest on it. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot, Charlie. Thanks again, Charlie. Bye now. So after a short break, uh, we will continue with City Year, Give a Year, Change the World. I am change. People tell me I can be anything. A doctor, a lawyer, anything. But for the next year, this is my office. This is my day, and this is who I am. I am change, and this is where I belong. Welcome back. I'm Rachel Halpin with City Year Chicago. Our phone lines are open. Joining us now is Stephen Merritt. He is the service leader at the Harvard School of Excellence. Stephen, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. No problem. Stephen, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and where you are from? Um, I am from Detroit, Michigan. I'm 21 years old. I recently moved to Chicago about six months ago and now working with City of Chicago. Awesome. So, you said you just moved here about six months ago. What were you doing before you joined City Year Chicago? Well, before I joined City of Chicago, I was actually giving a year with um, City of Detroit, mm-hmm. and it was a great experience. Um, I learned a lot working with um, CYD, and uh, shout out to everybody, City of Detroit. So. <laughs> so City Year Detroit, Detroit is really kind of struggling right now. What was it like to serve there? It was an eye opener. Um, I didn't realize all of the struggles that. Um, the um the youth were um, were going through and and I realized that now that um they needed a lot of help and I was happy to um give a helping hand to the children I work with. So what was it in Detroit that made you decide to do another year with City Year? I have to say the one thing that made me um on my last day at my school my um teacher behind my back had had the kids make a book for me. And they actually wrote down everything I, I, I helped for them. And it was just like, yes, I had another year um, somewhere. I didn't know where, but I was like, okay, city year. All right, and, year. So, and so you decided you'd done Detroit and you wanted to give another city another try, or mm-hmm. what was it that brought you to Chicago? Um, 
I needed to get away from my mom. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, no, I, she's not watching. <laughs> no, I'm not. Um, I didn't. I needed. Uh, I needed more experience, so I decided that I needed to go somewhere where I where I haven't been before. So I said, okay, what's well, close to Detroit, but not too far. And Chicago was was there. So I was okay. like, all right, Chicago. All right. So you can still get home when you need to. Yeah. Yeah, gotcha. mega bus. Awesome. It looks like we do have a caller. So welcome to City of Chicago. You're on the air. Hi. How you doing? Good. You Actually, doing? could you do you mind turning your TV down just a little bit for us? Sure. Thank you. What was your question? Yes. I wanted to know um, how has City Year changed you since you've been in City Year? Both of us or Steven? Go ahead, Steven. You want to go first? Um, City Year has changed me. I am no longer, um, I say I'm, I'm no longer selfish. I, I, I don't take things for granted anymore. Mm -hmm. Seeing the kids and sometimes the, the things they have to go through just to come to school every day. Mm -hmm. I realize now that um, growing up, I really didn't have, I, I really didn't, I, I really was fortunate growing up. So mm -hmm. I think that's the main thing that changed me. Yeah, I actually I think you kind of took my answer too. Oh, I would that's okay. I, I would say that there are a lot of things that I no longer take for granted. Just this has been like Stephen said an eye opening experience, and so I I think twice before I, I start to complain about something that's going on because just working with these kids and seeing what they what they struggle with every day has really been a, quite an experience. Um, so Stephen, I mentioned that you are the service leader at Harvard School of Excellence. Can you tell me a little bit more about what what that means? Uh, my title is service leader. Um, I actually plan the different service projects that uh, my team provides to our school, and it could be such as our family reading night, mm -hmm. our attendance rallies, our morning greetings, and we're actually planning on having a um, spelling bee for our school. Ooh. So I'll be planning that as well. So it's pretty fun. That'll be. Is that going to be a school wide event? School wide. All the right. whole school's in it. Very uh, exciting. Um, so it is pretty widely known that City Year Corps members provide tutoring and mentoring mm -hmm. for Chicago's youth. Um, and you actually mentioned a couple. So I, are there any more that you can think of that we do? The spelling bee is actually really cool. I haven't heard of any of the other schools doing that, but can we think of any others? Um, we do. I can't think of any. Well, I basically named them all. But Did you mention attendance rallies? Attendance rallies. We're... Um, we it's between the middle school grades sixth to eighth, and we um, hold a, a a challenge to the um, to the middle school grades of who can come to school on time every day, and at the end of the year, the winning student will get a laptop. And All it's right. pretty cool. A laptop. That's yep. that is a good prize, a good incentive. So everyone better be coming to school on time. Exactly. Remember, our phone lines are open. If you have a question for Stephen, please give us a call. The number is three one two seven three eight. One zero six zero, Stephen. Um, I talked about this briefly, but then Charlie called in, so I got kind of <laughs> cut off. But we mentioned earlier that we do talk a lot about the big ideas of City Year and kind of the big things that we do. But tell us what it's like for uh, on a regular day for you at the Harvard School of Excellence. A regular day for me. Um, um, so the first thing I do when I get to school, I have to prep. For my tutoring session, I have five kids, five third graders that are tutored every day. So I had to prep and get prepared for them. And so after I get through the five kids, um, and each kid is on a different level. So each kid, um, one kid can be higher than the other. So um, I have to plan the lesson out that I'm going to cater to that specific kid. Then after that, we transition to our starfish that goes on in the afternoon, which is between the third through fifth graders, and we do curriculum, curriculum, and we, and we have fun games with the kids as well. Awesome. Looks like we do have another caller. Thank you for calling in. Oh, never mind. I guess they didn't want to talk to us. That's all right. So can you tell me a little bit more? Two years with City Year Chicago, or City Year, I'm mm -hmm. sorry, not City Year Chicago, <laughs> City Year Detroit and City Year Chicago. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure that you have encountered many challenges. What are some ways that City Year has, has helped you through these challenges? Um, I would have to say one of the main challenges City has helped me with is um I don't know just my better organizational skills and mm. planning for 
planning for the next step. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things might come at the last minute. You had, you had to be prepared. Um, I'm prepared to get through the um, situations that the city are confronting you with. But definitely my planning has risen. I actually have a calendar that I carry around now. So I had to, okay, I'm this day I'm doing that. So definitely city has helped me with me and my bad organizational skills. Uh, yeah, definitely a lot going on that we have to keep mm -hmm. track of, multiple things a day. So that's kind of the, the challenging part. What about the fun part? What's one of the funnest things about being a city or core member? Being a kid again. <laughs> With the kids, you, you can't be Mr. Oh, quiet, quiet. No, you had to like just let loose and just being the kid again, having fun with them because they'll could, could definitely enjoy just having us there at, at the school. So you had to just, just let loose and have fun. Yeah, definitely have so to do that say. with the kids. Definitely. Become a kid again yourself. What is, do you think, the biggest lesson that you've learned? You've probably learned many being with City Year for two years, but what is one of the bigger ones that kind of sticks out for you? Biggest, um, okay. Right. Biggest lesson I've learned. It's not a test, it's okay. <gasps> <laughs> Don't be nervous. Um, this kid actually, um, taught me a lesson. Last year, um, in Detroit, I was, um, he noticed I was having problems coming to, to school on time. He said, Mr. Steven, you always come to class late. I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't wake up on time. He says, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to give you my watch. So this kid gave me his watch and Aww. it had an alarm clock and everything. So my biggest lesson was me get, getting up on time and going to work. And I thank Manuel for that. Oh, that's great. Okay. So him giving you the watch. He gave me the watch. That's, all, that's all you needed, and you were able to I start needed. getting to work on time. Yep. I couldn't lie to my mom anymore to help <laughs> me get up for school. Well, I guess not only do we hold ourselves accountable, but the kids hold us accountable right. as well. They notice when we're not mm -hmm. at school, which is, a, which is a good thing. So to any of our viewers who are thinking about joining City Year, what would you, what would you say to someone who's thinking about joining City Year? Um, it's a great program, but be, be prepared to be tested. I'm be tested and then to be pushed behind, um, but definitely give it a try. Um, apply online; it's a great program. I recommend it to all my friends, even though some of them don't aren't aren't uh, pursuing it. But other than that, I I love, I love City Year actually, I, and, and, and like I don't say that enough, but City Year has definitely has changed my outlook on life and and how I view things every day. So right. definitely give it a chance. Great. Well, real quick, we're quickly running out of time. Grab a question. We got to give you the boot. Oh, yeah. No, don't grab. Okay, grab a question though. Oh, I say grab. <laughs> okay, you ready? Okay. If City Year was a food, what food would it be? City Year was a food. Go ahead and sign while you're thinking. I'm going to go ahead and say. Um, DiGiorno's Pizza. Um, I don't know why. All right. I just I haven't had DiGiorno's Pizza, DiGiorno's Pizza um, before I came to Chicago, and and I, I love it. All right, there you go. So right. city or Chicago? It's not delivery. It's DiGiorno. If it, <laughs> if it was a food, it would be DiGiorno's, DiGiorno's Pizza. Pizza. Delicious. All right. Well, thank you, Stephen, for joining us. Thank you. Real quick, our service spotlight of the week is on PT or physical training. Every Friday morning, 125 core members at City Year Chicago come together to start the day doing basic exercise in either Daly or Federal Plaza. PT is an opportunity for core members to begin the day with energy and unity. This picture, taken by core member Tim Nystrand, shows core members doing PT before our Thanksgiving Day of Service. And if you ever want to see us doing PT, please feel free to come by Federal Plaza or Daly Plaza any Friday morning at 8.15, and please be sure to come up and say hi to us. We're very friendly and would be more than happy to talk to you about City Year. So we are running out of time. Thank you for tuning in to City Year, Give a Year, Change the World. Real quick, once again, if you would like more information, please join us on the web at www.cityyear.org slash join us, or you can call our recruitment manager at 312-423-7179. Seven, nine. Remember, our next deadline is February 15th, so please get your applications in today.